Hello friends, welcome to Clubcraft area. If you are new to this channel, subscribe my channel by clicking the subscribe and bell button to get more videos. In this video, we are going to see how to crochet this beautiful mobile pouch. For this, we are using two colors of yarn, crochet hook, cutter, zipper and a needle and thread. For this project, I am using 4mm crochet hook. Mobile pouch is done using a ripped stitch pattern. To do this mobile pouch, first we have made a rectangular shape, then we folded them and then we weaved the sides and then we attached this zipper to this mobile pouch. So now let's see how to do them. Start with a slip knot. Do 40 chain. Yarn over, pull through the loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. This is what we say it as chain. We have to do 40 chain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. After doing 40 chain, it looks like this. Next, you are going to do double crochet in the 4th chain from the hook. 1, 2, 3, 4. You are going to do a double crochet. Yarn over, insert the hook in the loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. You will have 3 loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through first two loops. You will have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through next two loops. This is what we say it is double crochet. Next stitch, double crochet. Yarn over, insert the hook in the loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. You will have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through first two loops. You will have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through next two loops. Likewise, you are going to do double crochet in each stitch till you reach this last stitch. After doing double crochet in each stitch, it looks like this. For next round, you want to change the color. So, we will not complete this last double crochet. So, yarn over, insert the hook in the loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. You will have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through first two loops. So, next you will take the next color and finish that double crochet using the next color. And do chain one. You can pull this yarn. So, now we have changed the other color for next row. We are not going to snip off this black color. Since we are going to work alternatively with this green and this black color. Next for next row turn your work. The first stitch you are going to do a double crochet. Next stitch you are going to work on the poses. That is you are going to work between the stitches. This first stitch you are going to do front pose double crochet. Yarn over. Insert the hook from front to back, back to front. Yarn over, pull the hook and the yarn from front to back, back to front. You will have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through first two loops. You will have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through next two loops. This is what we say it is front pose double crochet. Next stitch you are going to do back pose double crochet. Yarn over, insert the hook from back to front, front to back. Yarn over, pull the hook and the yarn from back to front, front to back. You will have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through first two loops. You will have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through next two loops. This is known as back post double crochet. Next stitch, front post double crochet. Yarn over, insert the hook from front to back, back to front. Yarn over, pull the hook and the yarn from front to back, back to front. You will have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through first two loops. You will have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through next two loops. Next stitch, back post double crochet. Yarn over, insert the hook from back to front, front to back. Yarn over, pull the hook and the yarn from back to front and front to back. You will have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through first two loops. You will have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through next two loops. So it looks like this. This is the pattern which you want to follow for this row by doing front post double crochet in the first stitch. Yarn over, insert the hook from front to back, back to front. Yarn over, pull the hook and the yarn from front to back, back to front. You will have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through first two loops. You will have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through next two loops. Next stitch, back post double crochet. Yarn over, insert the hook from back to front, front to back. Yarn over, pull the hook and the yarn from back to front, front to back. You will have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through first two loops. You will have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through next two loops. 
you have to follow this pattern by doing front post double crochet in the first stitch and back post double crochet in the next stitch front post double crochet in the next stitch and back post double crochet in the next stitch so likewise you have to do alternatively front post and back post till you reach the stitch before the last stitch after doing front post and back post double crochet alternatively it looks like this now we are left with the last stitch last stitch you are going to do a double crochet on the stitch after completing the round it looks like this for next round do chain one turn your work do a double crochet on the first stitch so next stitch if you see it is a front post double crochet so we will do a front post double crochet on it next stitch is a back post double crochet so we'll do a back post double crochet so next stitch it is a front post double crochet so we'll do a front post double crochet next stitch is a back post double crochet we'll do back post double crochet so next stitch it is a front post double crochet we'll do front post double crochet next stitch is a back post double crochet we'll do back post double crochet so this will be the pattern which you want to follow for this row by doing front post double crochet in the front post double crochet and back post double crochet in the back post double crochet till you reach the stitch before the last stitch and in this last stitch we'll be doing a double crochet on the stitch after doing front post double crochet in the front post double crochet and back post double crochet in the back post double crochet it looks like this so now we are left with the last stitch in the last stitch you are going to do a double crochet on the top of the stitch now for next round you are going to change the color so we will not complete this last stitch using the same color so we'll pull through we'll have three loops yarn over pull through first two loops next you'll take the black color and complete this double crochet for next round do chain one turn your work we have to follow the same pattern which we did in the previous round that is do double crochet in the first stitch so next stitch if you see it is a front post double crochet so we'll do a front post double crochet next stitch is a back post double crochet so we'll do back post double crochet next stitch front post double crochet so we'll do front post double crochet next stitch is a back post double crochet so we'll do back post double crochet so it looks like this this is the pattern which you want to follow for this row by doing front post double crochet on the front post double crochet and back post double crochet on the back post double crochet front post double crochet on the front post double crochet and back post double crochet on the back post double crochet till you reach the stitch before the last stitch and in this last stitch we'll be doing a double crochet by following the same pattern we have to repeat this till the required length we want after doing them to the desired length it looks like this if you see the width measures to 7.5 inches length measures to 7 inches you can slip off this green color again we'll be working with this black color next for next round do chain one turn your work you can carry this tail along with this while we are doing the stitches so we are going to do single crochet in the first stitch insert the hook in the loop yarn over pull through the loop you'll we'll have two loops on the hook yarn over pull through both the loops this is what we say it is single crochet next stitch single crochet insert the hook in the loop yarn over pull through the loop you'll we'll have two loops on the hook yarn over pull through both the loops next stitch single crochet next stitch single crochet next stitch single crochet likewise you are going to do single crochet in each stitch till you reach this last stitch after doing single crochet in each stitch it looks like this next you are going to do single crochet in each stitch last stitch you are going to do one more single crochet next stitch single crochet next single crochet next stitch single crochet next stitch single crochet next stitch single crochet likewise you are going to do single crochet in each stitch till you reach this corner and in this corner stitch will be doing two single crochet then do single crochet in each stitch till you reach this corner and this corner stitch will be doing two single crochet 
then do single crochet in each stitch how we did this side till you reach this end and finish this round by doing a slip stitch in this first single crochet after doing single crochet in all the four sides it looks like this next you can do chain one and snip off this yarn next we are going to weave the sides for that we will fold the fold them together like this and we will weave the sides if you see I have weaved one side same way we have to weave the other side also so we'll insert it in this corner stitch same way insert it in this corner stitch pull through insert it in the same stitch once more and make a knot to secure them insert the needle in the next stitch same way insert it in the next stitch and pull through insert in the next stitch insert in the next stitch of other side and pull through insert it in the next stitch of other side so insert the stitches on both these sides and pull through to close them together so do this till you reach this end after joining them it looks like this in this corner you can secure them how we did in the starting by making a knot then insert it in this loop to secure them you can snip off this yarn so now we have weaved both these sides next you can flip them inside like this it looks like this next we will make a zipper to close the pouch you can pin the zip like this and we'll start weaving them using the needle and the thread same way we have to weave them around after doing the zipper the mobile pouch looks like this the mobile pouch looks like this if you like this video like share comment this video and also subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe and bell button to get more videos thank you friends